talk trash about women, but that's what men do with men. I don't want to do that with women. Who wants to do that with women? You know, these guys that are friend-zoned by women, I find that just insane. What I'm going to talk about is uh, the imposter, right? The, the body snatcher being, the chameleon, right? The artificial human being. Feminists are artificial. They're not real. They're not men and they want to be men. They say they are and they pretend to be men. And they pretend to be our friends and they friend zone men. And then men are going along with this game. They're playing into it, but not MGTOW, of course. But I don't want to have contact with a being who is not true to their own nature and true to themselves. And I certainly don't want to spend any time with women who are pretending to be men because they really can't be. And they always fall back. They always run back to the fact that they're a woman. They don't want to pay for their own drinks. They want you to give to them. They want you to kowtow to them. They want you to uh, submit to a good shaming or a good guilting. All the while being the most vile creatures on the planet. They want to be respected. I don't respect any women. I might cherish some, but respect is reserved for real men. Whether they're young or old, men earn their respect. One notch at a time. And I don't see women doing that. Even the ones that act like the sturdiest of men. They don't get my respect. You know, men, you know, feminists, women, they want to be men. Why? If we're so loathsome and bad, why emulate us? It's just this juxtaposition of thinking that is mind-blowing to me. And it's destructive. You know, if I wanted to fuck a guy, I'd become a homosexual. Why would I want to have sex with a woman who acts like a man? Who tries thinking like a man, behaving? You know, all it is is a, a very poor uh, f uh, facsimile of a man with a vagina. Who wants that? You know, what a waste of time, what a waste of effort, what a waste of potential and beauty women are today by becoming feminists. It's, it's an utter crying shame. I want to thank you guys for watching this channel. Please subscribe, please thumbs up, write down on pen and paper or print it off the list of your favorite MGTOW channels. The names of them because people are being unsubscribed. And the channels are getting harder and harder to find. Even the most successful channels, and it's not just in MGTOW, it's in anything that is an alternative opinion. Anything that is juxtapo uh, juxta <laughs> juxtaposed to uh, good scotch. It's juxtaposed to the mainstream thought. Right? That is that women are good, men are bad, taxes are good, freedom's bad. Right? Everything that you as a natural man believe to be good is being turned into something bad. And MGTOW is your ticket to freedom. I recommend that everybody take all of their favorite videos off of YouTube and download them and store them on a hard drive. You know, hard drives are cheap. But this information, and it's not, I'm not bragging about my channel, but all channels that are producing information these little talks that men do are chock full of wisdom, experience, and advice. Not only about how you can behave and how women do behave and how it's wrong, but it's just tons of information. Some channels will take a subject and just paint it with a broad brush. Right? I do that sometimes. Other channels will take a very small piece of what feminism has done socially, politically, personally, financially, and they'll talk about it and break it down into its smallest components so it's most easily understood. And that's the value in these MGTOW videos. We don't just come out and say, women are pigs. 
We say women are pigs and this is why and this is how and this is what I see. And everything I talk about here, it's not a one-time occurrence. I don't stand up and go, you're not going to fucking believe this. I was walking down the street and I saw this fucking woman covered from tattoos from the bottom of her chin to her fucking belly button. And the only thing she had covering her tits was two pieces of black tape covering the nipples. And even that wasn't adequate. Right? If I told you that, you'd be like, I saw that six times last week, John. Where the fuck you been? <laughs> you know, it's not surprising anymore. <laughs> you know, that type of stuff isn't surprising anymore. You know, we're all capable of seeing it. And when these channels, uh, uh, my channel notwithstanding, come out and talk about the different perspectives, different things we're seeing, and then describing it, uh, sometimes ad nauseum, you know, you begin to see that it is not isolated incidents of misbehavior. It's not isolated in the least. It is now prevalent everywhere. Through all age groups, feminism is pervasive. Through all economic and social orders, through all cultures and subcultures, the, the scourge that is feminism exists and is now dominant. Your best defense is to become free and make your own decisions. That's what MGTOW is about, going your own way seeing the value in yourself and to stop damaging yourself right don't jump the ship and chase these horrible sirens all right i'm gonna let it go right there guys thank you for watching don't forget to write this channel down do what you can support these channels they like said youtube through their adsense and uh, uh, shared revenue generation commercials you know, that's going to be dead. It's just going to come down to you guys subscribing to who you want and funding them as you see fit. And uh, it's really a, a shame that the bigger channels or these guys that have put years and years into it and they put a lot of hours, sometimes 6, 8, 10, 12 hours of production time into a good video. Some men go to the libraries and research ancient philosophers and find where they've discussed women and how they have become a problem in their culture a thousand years ago, two thousand, twenty five hundred, three thousand years ago. When the rise of women occurs in a culture, when they become powerful, that is, they share economic, political, and social power with men, they become a dominant destructive force. Right? This isn't the first time this has happened. This is just what's happening right now. And you could say that this empire we're living in is the Anglo-American empire. And it's been going around, uh, you, know, you know, 500 years, maybe 600 years. Certainly since the, uh, the Spanish Armada sunk itself up by England. It's been kind of a, a British run thing and the Anglo countries have been the most powerful. Um, uh, certainly economically and industrially with Russia and China coming in, you know, close seconds and thirds, but it's, uh, it looks like it's coming down, you know, our, our empire, and it's coming down the same way it's come down in the past. And it's not just women, but they are an integral part of the destruction of every great culture and empire that we know of. You know, and I, and I wonder about stories like Atlantis, right? Were the Atlanteans a peaceful, you know, technologically advanced, superior, philosophically culture? Or did they have tattooed harlots running around sucking everyone's dick and demanding they be paid for it and having men destroyed? You know, there is nothing new under the sun. As above, so below. You know, there is nothing new. This is all a repeat. And you can find it out there. And I recommend you save all the information you can. You guys rock. Thank you for everything. When you get up in the morning, you don't need women. Look in the mirror. I have the penis is what you should be saying. Look at yourself. I have the penis. I'm the man. I'm going to make it happen. Get it done. Right? MGTOW is freedom. Go MGTOW.
Semper Fi.